Holy crap. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, Fang, doing Buster only shows you like a completely different way of fighting a boss. It's so much more challenging and the bosses are so much more interesting. And I say that every single time. Because I used to do that too, where every time I'd play like X, I just, I know the pattern, right? Like you go to, you got to um, chill penguin first, then you just start from there and you, whatever. But it is so much more fun because the boss is, it's like a completely different boss fight. Like what's, um, Magnus Centipede is a great example of that. Magnus Centipede's, if you don't use Silk Shot against it, and that's X2, right? Yeah, Magnus Centipede is X2, I'm pretty sure. If you don't use the Silk Shot and he keeps his tail, whew, it is it is really hard to fight him because he has a specific attack that he uses where he just sucks you in, where he just pulls you into him, and it's very, very hard to get away from him. And when he does, every single time he does, he drains some of your power. Not your life. It doesn't actually hurt you. Yeah, he infects you. Thank you. He doesn't actually hurt you, but the first time he does it, you can't do any charge shots. Uh, the second time, I think, is you don't shoot as fast. Third time, I think he, your shots are even slower. And then it gets to a point where you can barely jump. You can't dash, you can barely jump. If he keeps getting you successive times, it is such a bitch. That, that's like one of the hardest bosses of X2. Might might be the hardest one. Just because figuring out his out figuring out his strategy is one thing. But actually implementing it, it is is harder. Like zero is exactly the same thing in X2. Zero, his pattern is very simple but he is hard to beat because he's so bloody fast. You make one single mistake and he'll hit you for a lot. But I absolutely advocate for doing Buster only because it's fun. It'll feel like playing a completely different boss. Somebody commented on my video that said you're doing them all wrong and that you were lucky. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, uh, let me let me explain to you how we do things around here. We don't take a solid approach. We don't use guides. We just everything's kind of haphazard and fun. Exactly as I was as I would be playing this game as a kid. Well, I I don't know. Um, I really don't know if he. I think uh, he may have been trying to be helpful. I don't I don't know. Right, because some people, their approach to being helpful is basically just point out you screwed up and this is how, or I think you screwed up and this is what you need to do next time to do it better. Even though you might have found your own way to do it, it's it's not as good as their way because their way's right. And I understand that. I don't, I don't personally appreciate it. I think there's more than one way to do something. But I appreciate that there was the thoughtfulness there to, to help guide me, even though I didn't really need it.